this. Okay, so as you can see, I'm probably just a bit puffier than yesterday. Actually, this morning when I woke up, I was really puffy. They've gone down a lot. I can talk a bit better today just because I'm not filming early in the morning. I'm filming it about lunchtime, but still puffy. But some teeth are annoying. Alright, so this thing is basically about books. Because even though it's a makeup channel, I really like to read. I'm very nerdy, I guess you can say in that way. I love reading. My parents were readers. I'm a reader. I learned to read when I was five. I love reading. So I decided that it would be cool if I could do a book haul where I'll show you books that I've bought. And I'll talk about books that I think are interesting or that I think we're good. Sorry, my stepdad is calling me. And it's going to be ringing. And I'm really sorry. <laughs> Just wait for it to pass. Okay, so that's going to be really annoying, actually. Do, 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 do. Stopped. Yay! Okay, it's probably going to ring again soon. And so, so I'm going to talk about books that I think are good, or that I think are bad. Or if you see any books that you want me to get and maybe read, I could do that. Or if you like see a book that I've said it, talked about and you're like, oh, can you tell me if that's good or bad, I'll do that. A few books that I've read are like L.A. Candy and those series by Lauren Conrad. I love those books. Going Bovine by Liv by Liv Bray. It was a really good book actually. If you guys are wondering what it's about, it's about a guy who has a mad cow disease in his quest to figure out a cure for it. And Beauty Queens. It's just all about a bunch of beauty queens who are going to a beauty pageant and they get stranded on an island. Kind of like Lord of the Flies if you guys had to read that in English class, but not. And so books I want to talk about today... I have a few of them here. I'm very excited. So first one is called Abandon by Meg Cabot. I know it's backwards on my stupid camera. And I love Meg Cabot. She wrote all the Princess Diaries books and I liked those in the movie. So. And I read her Airhead novels and Being Nikki. So I really wanted to read it and it's very, very good. It's actually kind of a spin-off of um, Persephone and Hades, how Hades took Persephone down to the underworld to live them. It's kind of like a modern day version of that where, without spoiling it too much, um, she dies and then she escapes from the underworld and this guy is trying to come and get her back and there are these evil spirits who are trying to kill her or something. It was really hard to understand. It's very confusing to punish the guy who's in love with her, who is from the underworld. And it's all very interesting. And her second book is coming out soon on this series. If I can just remember what it's called. The Underworlds, what the second one's going to be called. And it's going to be a trilogy. And I'm so excited because it was actually a great book. And what I like is I like reading the young adult books, like the teen books, because they're kind of small and they're easy reads, but they're so captivating. So the next one I read was the Never Have I Ever. And this is just the, I don't have the nice paper backing on it right now because I just finished reading it. I'm going to put it back on. But this is the second book in the Lion Game series. And the same author is the author that wrote Prelo Liars. Now, I know Lion, the Lion Game is now a TV show. And I watched the TV show and I love the TV show. It is amazing and it's so suspenseful. And I love it. But I find the books are so much better. And if you're thinking like, oh, I want to read the book, but I'm scared that... It's gonna ruin the show for me or I think like something like that this book is nothing like the show the show almost does not follow it at all besides like the same names and stuff there is no similarities at all between these books and the show so they're really really good and I really recommend it and it's so interesting and there's a second one coming out called a third sorry a third one call it coming out called Two Truths and a Lie, and this is Never Have I Ever, and I'm very excited, and I was so happy this book came out because The Lion Game came out around Christmas, and I was so annoyed because I had to wait till April, my birthday, to go and get it, and when I finished reading it, I was like, oh my god, I need to read the next one, and the book hadn't come out yet, and it really annoyed me. So then the next books I have actually to read, I know my mom read them because, okay, it is the House of Night series, and I read the first book, Chosen, in one day. Like, legit. I started it in the afternoon, and I finished it at night. And I loved it, and I read the whole entire series. And I showed my mom the book, and I was like, you might be interested in this. And she hates vampires and stuff. 
but she was in love with it. She loved the series. So when I got Burned and Awakened, she read them before me. So I haven't gotten a chance to read them yet, but I do have Burned and Awakened right here. Now you can't see my face. And I'm really excited to read them because I know that Burned is going to be written mostly from Stevie Ray's point of view. And I'm very excited to see that because at the end of, I believe, Tempted was the last one before Burn, um, Zoe basically died. Her soul shattered when Heath was killed by Kelowna. And I'm really excited because I want her to come back. I love Zoe and I love her warrior. Like, you know, I forget what his name is now. It's the guy who's like, has all the arrows. Let me just find it. It starts with an S. Stark. I love Stark. Her and Stark's relationship is so cute. I find it's like the most romantic story. I am in love with it. I used to think like her and Eric were meant to be and every time they were together my heart was like so happy and but then in Hunted I felt like he was, became such an asshole, forgive my language. He became so mean and so rude and I got really annoyed and I fell in love with the character Stark. And they're just so cute together and the thing about these books is that when someone like something, oh, my mouth hurts, sorry, wisdom teeth smell. I feel like, I get so connected to these books and the fact that when something happens to one of the characters, like, my heart hurts for them. Like, if someone, like, died in the book, I would be, like, so shattered and upset. I get so connected to the characters in these books. They're just very well written. And then Awakened, and I know nothing about Awakened, actually, because I haven't even read Burned yet, so I have no idea on what level she can, like, continue, what it's going to be about. I have a feeling it might be about Raphael, though, the son of Kelowna, who Stevie Ray saved because on the nice, pretty paperback cover thing that's not on right now, it has a picture of a guy with wings, and I don't think it's Kelowna. I think it might be Raphael, if that's how you pronounce his name. I'm not sure. And I'm so excited to read them soon. And then my next book, and the one that I'm reading right now, and it's adorable, and I'm really loving it. It's called I Was Jane Austen's Best Friend. And you can tell by the cover of all, all the flowers and the pink writing, it's a very girly book. And for those of you who don't know, I think everyone knows who Jane Austen is. She wrote Pride and Prejudice and those books. And she was alive, I believe. She was a teenager. And it says in this book, because it was written in that time, 1796. 17, like, Pride and Prejudice was done in the 1700s or like 1800s, and it's still like a classic novel today to show you just how timeless Jane Austen's books are. And this is not written by Jane Austen, by the way. this is written by Cora Harrison. It's a secret diary, and it follows a girl named Jenny, who is completely different from Jane Austen. She's just a shy, shy girl who goes to live with Jane, who is her cousin, and she teaches her all about the world that Jane lives in with the beautiful dresses and the boys and the flirting and the lust that Jenny never knew because she was because she's very poor. And I am so excited because it's all about Jenny, because Jane's writing a book and Jenny is going to be the heroine of her story and she's going to meet her true love. And I love romance novels like that, like every once in a while. I like my dark novels too, but I also love these. My novel range is very weird. Like, I love the books, Generation Dead, those ones. I loved it, and it's all about teenagers that come back to life after they've died, and, like, adjusting to life as being dead around people that are living. I love those kind of spooky books like that. I love books that involve death and vampires, and it's not weird. I'm not a depressive person at all. I'm one of the happiest people you can ever meet, but I love those. But then I also love my good romance stories so if you guys are actually interested in these videos at all leave a comment below subscribe please follow me on twitter is my twitter name is the same one as my youtube account i'm really excited to start doing this for you guys if you have any suggestions on books just check please just ask them if you have any questions on books have i read this can i talk about this it'd be great and, oh, I know I'm going to be reading The Help soon, so watch out for a video on that. Thank you. Have fun. Have a nice day. What am I saying?
Have a nice day. Have a great day. Have a non-painful wisdom tooth day like I am. <laughs> Bye.